Hello guys, how are you? So today I'm going to record some Google Cloud Certificate exams, questions and answers. So I am giving that test from Skill Pro, Skill Cert Pro exam, and they have given a test there, and those are the sample questions. So I have solved one test, practice test, and my average score is seventy-eight percent but here the candidate which they are giving the initial test their scores is score is 55 percent so you will get the idea actually how are those questions framed and if you are preparing for google cloud machine learning exam then definitely you need to buy this test and it's worth to pay money it's just 1500 rupees cost but they provide lifelong test and their questions and analysis also better and when you give all those tests actually your uh, knowledge and practice or you can utilize whatever you have learned to understand your concepts and you will also going to learn so many things here and if you want to get specifically gcp certificate exam then if you solve all those tests then definitely there are very high chance that you can crack the certificate so in the test one they ask the 50 questions and once you complete all those questions they also going to give you some answers so we'll see how how is the first one questions so sometimes they tell you pick uh, three options or consider only one or two options like that one so this one is the first question so i'm not going to tell all those questions i'm just pulling the window but if you demand if you want to explanation of those questions and answers then i can do in the next video slide but it's a very simple one but yeah sometimes it's a trick and they have given all those uh, real experience uh, projects and answers related to this how we can do means it's a not just for to model train validation evaluation and data preparation but how you are going to flow the data how you are going to do real time predictions model monitoring serving retraining how you will use ci cd pipelines kubeflow pipelines gtx pipelines voltex pipelines and they have called all those vision natural language large language models from machine learning to the advanced one they have given everything in gc machine learning exam and they have Covered all those questions with all detailed approach so you have just need to see this screen or you can uh, pause your video sometime to understand that questions and what uh, they have given the solution so I am just uh, scrolling the window so you will see they have asked the questions of computer visions reinforcement learning then time series models then how you are look now that seven number questions how nice they have framed these questions your team is designing fraud detection system for major bank there and the requirements are various banking application will send transactions to the new system in real time and standard normalized format so it's a they are considering it's in the real production environment the data will be stored in real time with some statistic aggregations so they have given the three conditions and ml model will be periodically trained for outlier detection the ml model will issue the probability of fraud for each transaction and it is preferable to have no labeling and as little software as possible which products would you pick and they have said pick three and they have given the option so those are the terms related to gcp platform but those are very important and once you will learn they have also given the link if we click on that link sorry i think that link is not working here but once you click that link then you will you will go into they will forward you to the next google terminal now here they want in this question they want some model like that model should not have available data and also they want the issue of probability for each transactions or fraud detection 
so and they want to pick two options so at last they have given the solutions which option is correct correct and why it's correct and why other option is not correct and in the this way exam most of time you will want to get, come there two or three questions related to Qflow pipeline and what takes away so if any questions comes related to this one then definitely you should take that answer and uh, yeah you know that that is a very nice questions what they ask your company is designing a series of models aimed at optimal customer care management for this instance all return and voice communication with customer are recorded so that they can be classified and managed the problem is that client often provide private information that cannot be distributed and disclosed which of the following technique you can use so they want do not want to disclose the client information so in the gcp there is one tool it's a dlp like and the name is data loss prevention api then we can use cloud speech api to convert speech to text and vision api to convert those recorded scripts into the text and they have given the very nice explanation with all those so actually i have uh, made here wrong questions so in the email they have created one big query and in the big query you can write all those sql queries and you can train the model very nicely and it is a very efficient faster deployable so whenever if that question comes related to BigQuery and all those, definitely you can choose. And in the BigQuery, you can also do a deployment and serving of model. So this is one nice question. Though I am confused here in their answer, but they have given the logic. So that's the your team prefer a custom model with tensor flow depth forecast based on the diagnosis images, which cases need more analysis and medical report the accuracy of model is very high but when deployed in production the medical staff is very dissatisfied what is the most likely motivation so what they have said whenever they are testing the model the that time it was giving the good results but accuracy was very high but it deployed in production results are not good and it's uh, definitely uh, related to classification so they have considered the last degradation with the classification threshold too high and that's why and they have also given the explanation please try to read the explanation and tell me in the comment what do you understand so this we also have document AI which uh, supports all those documents natural language processing one tool one solution all Many times you will want to get the questions ready to keep flow pipeline. They have given all those architectures. It's ready to scaling. Then that's the questions related to bias and variance. Those are the uh, inversely proportional. Now here I have made the questions. So while reading the questions, please try to uh, read all those if it's related to SQL database and all those. What, what at the last and most of the time they ask the main question part at the last line so you want to simplify the fly plan as much as possible and it's fully managed or you want server less service as far as you can so what you use so they have given the ubiquitous and ubiquitous email are powerful service for data analysis and machine learning actually they want to do a <coughs> data analysis and all those here retraining also happening and here docker images also they are pushing it to the docker image but i must confuse why they have not utilized the qflow, qflow pipeline now here also you will confuse gk and tfx pipeline so you should know a little little understanding do here are there are some questions sometimes in if you give the seventh or eight number test then they have given the different answers as compared to the test number four or five so here are also some questions uh, issues answers issues but it's worth to give 
So in that test there are uh, 23 questions. So there are sometimes they ask the not condition and condition try to uh, use the future elimination technique also here. And through that also you will get to know. Deploy TensorFlow Kubernetes. Now if I, I have choose that option. Let's see the questions. Your business market excellent use uh, ML model. Many of these were deployed with TensorFlow, but lately you have been making good use of AtoML to make your design work leaner, faster and more efficient. You are working for an environment that organizes and manages training, validation and tuning and updating models with new data distribution and monitoring production which of these do you think is the best solution actually so many of them are developed with the tensorflow but later we are working with the rtml so basically what i have done because of the tensorflow i consider they are typical tensorflow on kubernetes but no they want you are looking for an environment then there are so many things are happening so they have given vertex a custom to linear pipeline actually find that option is correct so let's take a vertex a combines a to ml custom models and ml pipeline management through to production vertex a integrates many gcp ml services especially a to ml and a platform and includes many different tools to help you in every steps of ml workflow mm, other solutions may be good but they want sometimes faster and more now i have not read it here consider techniques which techniques should not be used and i have considered it as which should be so that's why i have made wrong so there are so many questions related tense are how to visualize training how to tell a non-technical person how to visualize data where you will store your data in gcp which tools is you have need to use and why another not to use look in that question they have considered that gan generative advisor network and why it's useful then deep view tensor Tensor flows that TP works for the tensor flow based because tensor processing units are very fast. So CPU you want to train your model is more than weeks and faster than TP are always better, but TP are not good for C wrap for functions and all those. So it has also some limitations. And then you should know some activation functions. This is at ML vision then please try to focus on cross validation and precision recall then you should know some important google gemini pro uh, services type up tpu gpu and you should know all those good ideas and concepts very well so before giving test please try to complete that google cloud exam means google has already given eight courses in which they have covered all those with providing all those data lab and all so this is the questions of test one so i will going to give remaining questions also i hope you will get to like look here is that questions related to precision recall and everywhere you will going to fill and paste that so what is the question it's you are a junior data scientist and you are being interviewed for a new job. A senior data scientist asks you which metrics for classification model evaluation gives you the percentage of real spam email that was recognized correctly and what was the exact answer to this question. So they want to get the which metrics that gives the percentage of real spam. So recall indicates how true was it to use we recall and uh, so it is give the true positives so it's really include the false negative but precision we are going to give the overall all positive so you should know all those concepts very well so those are the questions
I am stopping here. If you have any doubt or question, please ask me in the comment. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye bye.